Hello and welcome back to another Obus VR video. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make this video quick and simple. The only reason I'm doing this is because I did a video about the Warrior class and because Arts is my best well Veins is my best class, I thought I can't leave it out, I need to do it. Alright, so to first get in the mood, I'm gonna tell you how good it is. So Reigns are it's the best solo class on the game. Solo. All right. With this class, you can defeat Brew Animus. Now, if you don't know about that, Brew Animus is enemies what, about two, three levels above you. So, three levels above you. Now, I've defeated three level enemies above me in this desert, what we're standing in now, easily. They give about 1,200 sets P. That's why I'm level 14. I came to the desert at level 10 I believe I gained 4 levels in about an hour because I just defeated all the high level bosses easily well they're not even bosses what for what for they're these cactus so this is also the best place for Rangers to farm once we reach about level 10 and 11 because these cactus come in different levels these are the low level ones where you just start off and the good thing about these cactus is as long as you aim above them, you'll hit them. If you have a big range, so that comes in under. So first things first, let's talk about the class itself. As you can see, these black circles stand for for about amount of distance you hit someone and all good for sorties. And each um, circle, once it lights up, gives you more damage. I don't know for Pacific, but if you get all of them lit up, you'll start doing it. 60 110 percent more damage now that's it's a bill here is for tar so so if you hold it down for about three seconds and then you suit it yes i missed <laughs> all right so as you can see it tars this back pretty quickly so if you just toss it three seconds and suit I, I'm not really doing good with these sots, but as you can see, that's the tar sot. So what the tar sot does is it makes your first the sot more does more damage. There we go. As you can see, that did three thousand eight hundred and sixty-three damage. Now I'm gonna do one without without. So I'll just need to wait for it. So for hours, I always use. Uh, Armor piercing and poison. And I always start with poison because you need time for it to take effect. Alright, it's not worth picking it up good. So, is this without? So, that does 493. First one did 4000 about. So, it does about a lot more damage. So, as you can see, same level enemies are so easy to kill with arts, with rains. So, let's talk about. Fear for ability, this sync one. It's ability, it's um, so you need to have your hour drawn first and then you just grab it. So it's this one. So what this one does is it stops the enemy. Sometimes it stops the enemy. It's, it's not really working all that good. So if I suit this guy, it'll run into that. So it's good for you to tie up your hour while it's stuck in it. Don't hit him so it works. So He'll, he'll start moving as soon as you hit him. So take your time and then just suit him like that. So another tip is always jump back. Don't get in a battle with him. As you can see, keep moving backwards and you can easily beat him. So tower part. <laughs> once they hit you, once they come into like your certain and start hitting you, that's when you want to teleport behind while drawing your hour at the same time. But while they're running at you, what you want to do is you want to start moving backwards using the touchpad while aiming like that. Just makes things easier, gives you more time. So let's now talk about the different types of hours you get. So you got your armor piercing, you got your poison. In my opinion, that's either the two best hours, period, but solo, these are the two best. 
if you're soloing, waiting, sir, so if you're not in a group, he's over two hours, you need to have on. You start with Poison, and then you go Armour Pearson. Armour Pearson comes back for fastest out of them. Few for hours, you have a for fire one. This is the best for when you're in a group or if you're farming. So at high stat per hour and rabbits are, you can kill, at my level, I can kill every single rabbit in that area with this one hour. I right, and then for next hour, so let me find them. Yeah, for spread hour, what's really good as well. And yeah, for darkness hour, what I don't know. Yeah, it's darkness. That's only useful for PvP and it will blind the enemy. So I'll show you these two hours and then that will be all. I won't show you for special ability because I don't even use for special ability. You don't need it. So for spread hour, basically, that's that. It suits like five hours across. Um, but it's also got another use, what I'll show you in a bit. For fire hour, will rain down fire. You really want to use that when they're surrounding you, so they take call for bullets. So now the good thing about this spread hours, so at close distance, so is this another hour you can use if you're soloing? So at further away distance like this, it will suit five hours. But if they're right in front of you, all the hours will hit at one person. So it does like six shots in one shot. And it comes back as fast as the armor piercing one. So armor piercing and the spread hour are a good combination. Armor piercing poison are the best combination. So I'll just say these two hours once more and we'll call it. Alright, so that's all the hours, all the abilities, and everything. But you might be wondering what this is here. It's blue bar what goes up like that. That's your persistence shot. So if you go into your abilities, talents, so persistent. So if you, it does more damage, I think it goes up to 110% more damage. What's awesome, if you hit Amir. So instead of just rapid shooting, if you wait until it goes there, you'll do more damage. I choose this one because when you're first doing your first shot, you want to do as much damage as possible. And once for you start just doing normal hours, that's better. But it takes about 50 shots before you actually start seeing any difference in damage with rapid, with a rapid one. Whereas for persistent one, you'll see a massive difference in damage when you do your first two shots, what you take your time on. And then um, from, I've got for improved task, it's just for a way better one. You don't want that one, you want it for improved one. Because what this does is, you, once you've done your task shot and you hit them, it will slow them down. So if they won't come at you with the uh, same speed, for a bit slow down, so that's why I always use poison first because you'll slow them down by the time they get to you if they put them once they're dead. So, that's just some tips and uh, for going through all the abilities. It's really simple, and like I said, if you're soloing Obus Fia, so if you're not in a group, you can't really do it without having a high class range. I mean, I can put much to do dozens apart from the bosses by myself. It's the most. So, a few of the classes are kind of like. They were quite skilled, special rumors, but Reigns are a where if you can shoot them from far distances, you're invincible. Hope that this video helps. Tack out for Warrior 1 because I saw you. Uh, hidden wall your technique what you might not know of and it will really help you so thanks for watching i might do roommates and musketeer but i'll be honest i'm not really good with roommates so <laughs>
I might not be able to do that one justice. I hope to enjoy the video. See ya.